Okay, we are back now to uh, lesson 11D. It's been a couple of months since we've been here because I had to take some time off and paint the CDA board. But I wanted to, you to know that um, I've kind of deepened my shadows and my clouds here a little bit on these corners. So, I um, wanted to show you that. And this next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to work on the, on the water some more. So I want to make sure that, okay, I'm putting extender on our water. And I'm really kind of working it in because I want it there, but I don't want it soupy. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a transparent layer of Prussian blue and raw umber and just kind of work it into the wet and I'm going to put it real thin and keep the color real soft. Then uh, into this wet layer I'm going to put some softer more opaque layers, uh, we'll scumble a little bit of light into it <coughs> near the horizon and, and near the beach. So I want you to look at your second stage uh, picture two and three photos. And I'm going to pick up Prussian blue and raw umber. And I'm going to mix it on my palette a little. And I have extender in my brush, but I'm going to take a palette knife and dip in and just drop a little bit more on there to loosen it up and thin it down a little bit because I am trying to get a thin layer. <coughs> Do a little more. sure I have enough raw umber. I think I have to put some more out because the raw umber thickened over the time. There we go. Okay. Now because I want it thin, I might I don't want too much paint on my brush, so I'm just gonna kinda wipe some of that off. Right there. And go with what's left on the brush. So I'm just going to put that layer over. You'll see the changes in the value because of what we have underneath. I get a smooth flow. Okay, now while this is wet, now I'm going to take um, some of the, uh, I think I'll add a little bit of this medium gray. So we want to go a little lighter and a little opaque, but we don't want to go too light too fast. And this area up here, just some soft movement in the water.
and then we'll soften it even more with the mop brush. Trying to get some depth in our water. And let's go to the next step up. A little lighter. So we're working it into our dirty brush and also to the paint that was already on the palette. And I'm having a little bit of a glare problem, so I'm going to try and move over a little bit. And I think I'm going to move to a filbert for that, so let's just do a little. I'm going to do start, you know, a little bit of waves. I'm just putting the tip of my brush down there and just kind of jiggling a little here and there. And then I'm just lightly, see that I'm holding on the top of the brush. I'm just lightly going to smooth that. Oops, I think I lost my good part right there. Let's see if I can put it back in. go. I have to do a little bit softer. There. I like that one. Okay, and so now I'm going to switch over to a filbert so that I can get, I'm going to dress it with extender, but I want to get um, this area up by the dock. Okay, I'm going to get this area a little more opaque, a little lighter in here. Just kind of feather off. And I'm going to get some of our really light blue and add into that. Again with my dirty brush. and then just blend into what you already have <clears throat> I'm going to take that just a step lighter I got a little out of the shoreline there. And I'm going to smooth these and feather these away. These edges away. Okay, so see how I can have it real light there, but can just taper off into nothing. And we're not trying to do the lightest part of these waves yet. This is a process. And I'm going to come back up on this part of the shoreline and pull that back lighter also.
and soften. Sometimes I get what I'm not supposed to get. And got a smaller mop that I can use for that. Okay. So that's uh, our second stage of water. And so then now we're going to uh, go away from the water and we're going to make some texture so we can uh, get some short grass in the foreground. We're going to do this with raw umber. This is opaque and we don't want it to get, get it too heavy. Not going to do the long grass right now. And we want some of uh, our layer right here to still show through. One. Such a glare. And this one. So now let's go ahead and put in our grasses. And I'm going to put a little bit of extender on. I'm going to take it all right up on around those um, step areas. Okay. And I'm going to switch to a small flat, or actually I think a, uh, an angle would be a good idea. Let's go with a 3 8 angle. I'm going to wet it with the extender for my ballot. And I'm loading it in the raw umber. And I'm just going to start building this texture. Just irregular rows. And if you lose your uh, chisel edge, go back in and smooth it down and come back because you don't want these to get too fat on you. And they're just irregular rows of irregular marks. We're just adding texture. We're not doing the long grasses. We're just putting in that short stubbly stuff. Get in between the posts. And bring it up to the water because it does stick out from the water. That's fairly easy to put in. Okay. So let's dry that, and then we're going to uh, work on this uh, distance 